so finally we have the public android beta available and you can install it just by having one click obviously on this eligible devices so uh, google io is going on and lot of features are came now how to install it you need to use the same google account that you have used in this phone and you need to go to the address at google.com uh, slash android slash beta and once you go there you will see uh, the devices that you carry uh, which are eligible or not so as of now i have two pixel devices these are eligible and as you can see already i have installed on my pixel XL. that is why it is showing me as opt out because already it is installed once i click the opt-in button on the pixel to excel uh, i will be getting a new notification and uh, this will be new android p update you don't need any root stuff you don't need to any silo download any image you can just flash it so this is your public first beta now should you install it or not uh, since from the morning I'm using I don't see any major issues in case you have this devices definitely go ahead and try that out but but uh, take complete backup in case somehow you need to roll it back uh, roll it back because some applications may not be compatible then you need to completely wipe your device that means everything will be gone out so take complete physical backup on any of your computer any of your OTG whatever cloud you wanted to take complete backup and install it so let's start and see all this new feature in this android p public beta the pixel launcher also got some new improvement too the talk area is now very much simpler as you can see this is, this is dp1 of the pixel 2 xl and pixel xl has this depreview 2 and the beta 1 so i will show you guys in a second this navigation bar is gone too and other than that everything exactly same there is not too much change inside an app drawer too and by the way the wallpaper you're seeing this is a new stock wallpaper default one you can get the download link in the description also now here is a new change uh, to go inside this launcher setting as you can see after many many versions of android this is the first time google has done some change there is no fade in fade out effect you can just see the clear option uh, I, I was okay with any of them but anyway whatever comes a new one after many many years it's always fun to use it so that's your new pixel launcher and uh, this is the main highlight of this chain swipe up gestures the screens are getting bezel-less nowadays so there is, has to be some kind of way buttons are getting off from the phones so that's how you should get your app drawer and this is your first one this frequent application section the one time you swipe up you will see this frequent application section twice you will see the app drawer and uh, whatever application you will use open they will just come here on this frequent application sections you got so many rows options to you know access so many applications side by side now uh, we are removing this buttons to uh, home button is still there so that's your uh, recent application button which is uh, gone from now so how to switch to other applications so that's how you should do just swipe right like that you can see that's your new cool uh, app switcher or taskbar whatever you can say so it is slow as of now you know the old one is very very fast maybe we are used to it so since this is beta in the future we should be seeing some kind of improvement in terms of you know speed and anything else or once you get used to it you will just quickly switch to the application so i'm still taking my time because this is just kind of very new tool for me also and uh, from the android nougat there was a, a feature called as a you know from double tap on this uh, taskbar just switch to the previous application like i opened this twitter i just double tapped it i switched to the recently open application but how we are going to do that on this Android P? So here is a quick way. Just slide right like that. You're going to see this uh, application which you opened recently. I'm just switching back between Twitter and the settings. Anyway guys, so that's your new uh, just as features too. And uh, split the screen how you're going to do it. So from the Android Nougat also the multi window is supported. And you just have to long press on this app switcher button. So you can easily select application, supported application either way. So, but on the Android P, there is no, uh, you know, app switcher button. How are you going to do that? So, first open this task manager. That's your uh, app switcher. I'm just naming it as task manager. Maybe you guys just name it a different way. So, if application has a split screen support, it will show you an option as a split screen. So, we have selected the first application. Now, we have to select this second application. So, like that. So, that's how it looks like Android P versus Android Oreo and a split screen closing is exactly same like we used to do earlier but again it's a very very new feature so i'm just going to uh, draw a rough design of my home screen i'm going to show you guys something very very cool that you're going to like it and uh, these are the five applications we are going to open just notice the direction from which the arrow is coming and on what direction it is going settings is coming from down to the bottom you know just something the rocket is coming from the bottom to the you know top like the cracker just see for the youtube studio it is coming from like a curve from right side to the top center it's going like that as a curve just take a look on the youtube you're gonna notice this is more better way 
it is just so fast i'm just trying to visualize and just trying to show you if you can catch it too on the camera too uh, this will change the directions too and by the way this will also work from the top to bottom too the orientation may be just reverted by 180 degree but just try to figure that out and just take a look on the play store this will looks more better so that's how you can see closing animation exactly same it just goes from center to the you know left side so that's your new animations too and the quick settings has some changes too so on the depth ribbon it was on the single page and there was a no two pages or maybe more than that but now this thing has been removed and also you can just see the user option has been removed from the depth view too as you can see just small minor tweaks uh, in case you are accessing you wanted to see your photos there you're not going to see this thing now which was looking cool but it was so tiny you cannot exactly feel that photo but i think it's good you should be seeing the you know clearer quick settings too ambient display feature is there but the brightness slider as you can see earlier it was the gear icon was the black this is something small cosmetic i noticed just thought to cover it here so now it has been uh, changed to the blue in color the slider itself is blue and the gear icon just only changed to the, from black to the blue alarm information was there on the depth ribbon there was a dedicated quick tile which shows you upcoming alarm like that in the depth ribbon on the pixel xl but this time it has been removed it is just placed as a text up and on the top of this uh, brightness slider volume was redesigned on the depth ribbon we uh, the profile you know this was in the bottom side and this exact volume level was above if you connect to the media device it will show you some information here like you can directly disconnect it from here so I'm not showing you some minor tweaks here. There was some inside the settings too. Just play around with that and see. So here's the major one. The profile option has been moved to the top side. Earlier it was on downside. So you can control things from here. And I tried to connect some media devices. It's not showing me like it showed me on the debut one. But instead, uh, the connected device has got a lot of new feature. And there is a new settings button too. If you just notice here that. So that will simply take you to the main setting where you can just play around with too much there. And there is a new direct silent shortcut feature. I'll tell you uh, what is that in all about. This is basically a uh, alert slider replacement. You know, these features are limited to some special devices like the OnePlus. But how about, you know, low end devices? If you want that kind of feature, you can use this combination of power button and the volume up keys. And you can just change your profile. If you want to make vibrate, just uh, go and change the settings. Now, this feature is really very exciting the adaptive battery. There was some feature called as a Hibernate, which came in the Android Nougat. But still, uh, now it has been improved based on the OS artificial intelligence itself. So here an example. For example, you are not using an application from so long time. So OS will see, OS will keep on monitoring your app usage, which application you are not going to use it. So, you know, it will just simply block that application to not use any internet, not use any kind of uh, everything. So it may possible like you may not get a notification for that application in case you're not using that for so long time. So that, that's what can happen. But anything is cool. So according to the Google, uh, this will certainly improve your battery percentage by 3.0, which is tremendous. There is a minor change on the battery estimate. So as you can see here on the earlier, it shows two days and some stand of minute to now it shows more than two days available another cool feature is the adaptive brightness so you know uh, ambient sensor is is there in most of the phones they work based on the light is there on your environment that is nice so this is where adaptive brightness feature should work you know it will just see what kind of behavior you're using what kind of you know uh, lighting condition you're using and you're adjusting your brightness slider so the more you do these kind of thing maybe on the third or fourth time it will itself adjust the, you know you are using such kind of setting so you know this is just artificial intelligence it tries the android p tries to learn by you know the behavior by the way you are adopting your phone or you know it will just adopt by itself there is a new lockdown options too so now android p gives you flexibility in case you really wanted to see a clear lock screen that means there should not be any notification and you can instantly you know disable the fingerprint options too that means if you want to make your phone really too much secure at that same time you just have to use your you know buttons your fingerprint won't be work you there is no notification at all and uh, there is a new feature that is going to come with android p that means if you really are getting annoyed with too much notification from the any application you can simply dismiss that thing from here so android p itself gives an option do you really want to disable that notification but here's the quick thing inside the settings as you can see it just shows you exactly last time when you got notification from any application that means uh, you can just exactly see which application is sending a lot of notification you can control from here itself too so that is there's a two way you can do that but i just call it twitter notification now we're going to see whether it shows any recent update or not so just open the twitter again and here inside the setting as you can see it just updated itself like recently i just got notifications from here this again very quick feature so 
there it is guys those are some android p main main features i skipped many of the small tweaks you know you know those things are keeps on getting changing and removing from here i will cover that thing on a final android p once it is out so so thank you so much for watching this is saurabh i'll catch you in the next video till then have a great day